There we go. Welcome to Hafla TV. My name is Hafla Moog and with me today is Coucher. We have the honor to broadcast the D2 Romania, the Spring Cup. Today we have Yuvia versus the Puck. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> very, very nice to be here. First time for me seeing both of those teams, but hoping for some good games. Uh, Stepan, Invoker, quite a regular band nowadays since 6.8 with the buffs that the Invoker received. Yeah, definitely. And, and of course Nyx Assassin, just such an annoying hero, the Spike Carapace making it so hard to kill him. And the Vendetta just able to create so much space around the map. I'm anyway looking forward, like I have to admit, I've just seen a couple Romanian games and a couple Bulgarian games, and sometimes those guys go for interesting drafts, but sometimes they are also pretty standard, standard as in you, you know them from uh, Pro Dota. And I mean, so far the, uh, except for the Slark ban, like the buns are pretty standard. I like to see them. Um, the picks are very interesting. The puck is saving the Doom. And the Ember Spirit for themselves. The Doom for the Ember Spirit being one of the hardest disable you can find. And the Ember Spirit, well, we had yesterday, I think. Five games with Ember Spirit. All of them pretty amazing. Nice early action, nice late action. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, the Doom can be such a strong hero. I mean, he doesn't start the fastest. Definitely needs to level 6 before he can be a threat. But once he hits that level 6 and starts going around with the Doom, everybody has to be extremely scared of it. Oh yeah, definitely. And I also like the picks for Euphoria there. We have Visage, the early and the mid-game potential is there. We have the Bane, and where is the Bane? There is definitely, definitely something that will synergize with him very well. So I'm looking forward to a stun. Uh. Maybe Mirana, Lashrak, Sand King, anything could synergize with him. Yeah, Euphoria uh, went for almost the uh, exact opposite that the Puck did. The Puck getting two core heroes straight away, whereas Euphoria was going for two supports. Of course, I have once in my life seen a Visage meet. It can happen, <laughs> not not likely, but yeah, so going for two supports and leaving their options open. So the Puck really can't ban out anything specific because they have no idea what heroes will be coming out for them. Yeah, and the new buns we have, there is a Storm, well, Storm, a strong mid, of course, it's always nice to have him out. A Timbersaw, very strong on the offlane, we see, we seen yesterday even, uh, like, a left alone safe lane uh, with the Timbersaw, he came very late in the game, but when he came, he had a huge impact. The AA is also taken out by Euphoria, very strong ultimate, um, um, yeah, and the Dazzle, well, Dazzle, yesterday we saw him about five times picked up for Rock's Kiss and there he made quite some impact with the Shallow Grave. Nice rescues there. And the new puck is uh, coming up for uh, Disruptor. Yeah, the Disruptor, I mean, as Euphoria did pick up the Life Stealer, the Disruptor picked up, of course, before, but already very nice versus that hero. If he can catch him in the Static Storm, when the Life Stealer can't rage, it's actually quite easy to bring down. Yep. And the puck, they have three heroes. I mean, okay, Disruptor can't say it's a counter, but Lich with the Ice Armor, as well as Doom with his Doom ability, of course, is so nice versus the Life Stealer. So they already have something to go up against Euphoria's one core hero. Yep. Can you can you check your microphone on Dota TV? Like someone just said, like it's not transmitting on Dota TV. But anyway, yeah, about the life stealer and uh, the the static field, it's it's really dangerous because you can't, you, you cannot just not rage. You also can't like infest escape how we often see it on an eggs. Like he's he's almost down and then he finds somewhere a creep, and then he suddenly dives into the creep. Either waits there a bit or he comes out, does the burst damage, turns around and suddenly leeches up. Like hell. Lish, we also saw Lish yesterday a lot of times. The Frost Armor made such a great impact, giving low armor heroes like some advantage there. Of course, the slow on attack. The ultimate, if nicely timed, up to 10 pounds is there. And we have, of course, even more important, in the laning stage, we have every some seconds, we have a creep denied, 
and the experience since patch given to your own team. And that is very interesting. Yeah, it can be really strong. I mean, but uh, Visage's birds, the familiars, as well as, of course, the rage from the life stealer will be able to soak up some of the bounties without actually taking any damage on the heroes. Yes. So, I mean, the patat is in a perfect world. The bounces are just so random and it can be either absolutely amazing or just have no effect almost whatsoever. Yep. This is something where, where even pro Dota players still say this is absolutely, I don't know, I, where they think Ice Rock should do something like familiar soaking up arrows, familiar soaking up leash bounces, etc. Also, like the the new mechanic where like the leash bounces go into the BKB, they don't deal any damage, but you still have like one bounce less. On the other side, we also saw many times where one BKB hero next to another non BKB hero actually killed there the other teammate just for the fact that it's still bouncing. Anyway, yeah, it can definitely happen. Yeah, that's what you were talking about together with the Bane. That yep. combination is just so strong that you don't really want to pass it up. It's very interesting though because the puck had the opportunity to ban it out. They saw the Bane very early, so they had all time in the world pretty much. But they choose it, yeah, to go for Storm, Timbersaw, and Asiya. So the synergy is there. Bane can set up with Nightmare. Mirana has the easiest arrow of her life, and yeah, like I, I like to see it. And and so far, I mean, we have. Well, we have the chains on on the puck side, but like so far, barely any stuns. We have a glimpse we can work with, a slow by the leash. Um, depending on what the Doom picks up. Maybe have s there some CC, but like, except for his ultimate, not much there. So I actually want to see something that can stun on the fifth pick here. Yeah, if you go for lineups that don't have any stun, you always have to take into consideration that the enemy can just TP out when shit really hits the fan. Yeah, we s we saw that yesterday. Uh, where we was wo where we were wondering like, oh, they don't have any, they don't have any stuns and anything, but that was. Uh, a very push heavy uh, setup so they were going like yeah you know we, we don't care about the kills let them TP out like we take the tower in the meantime so there it was no problem but like so far this team I don't see the push power at all like this is based around us protect the core and go for some ganks here and there I mean with the climps you can do actually quite some some nice stuff even with the TP if you uh, time it correctly um, but yeah that's like the only thing left chains and the glimpse to work with let's see how this like evolves in the game yeah i mean it might become a problem for them but with the slow from the frost blast it might be a well definitely have to see the heroes on euphoria side are quite fast pain 350 movement speed base i think as well, yeah. of course, life dealer just raging, doesn't care at all, and Mirana can leap away, but Dragon Knight is there, so one of the longest duration stuns, actually, especially on the first level. Yeah, definitely. So there there we have our stun, and also quite some tankability there, like, Dragon Knight by default, coming with a lot of armor, a lot of HP region, and he will definitely support that with items, so, yep, there we have definitely someone who stands in the first row. Yeah, and once Dragon Knight hits level 16, together with uh, the Ice Armor from the Lich, I mean, the Life Stealer, he will just get kited around, probably. Yeah, that's... that's... And there we go. Welcome to Hafla TV. My name is Hafla Moog, and with me today is Coucher. We have the honor to broadcast the D2 Romania, the Spring Cup. Today we have Yuvia versus the Puck. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice to be here. First time for me seeing both of those teams, but hoping for some good games. Uh, Stepan Invoker, quite a regular ban nowadays since 6.8 with the buffs that the Invoker received. Yeah, definitely. And, and of course, Nyx Assassin, just such an annoying hero, the Spike Carapace making it so hard to kill him. And the Vendetta just... And 
There we go. Welcome to Hafla TV. My name is Hafla Moog and with me today is Coucher. We have the honor to broadcast the D2 Romania, the Spring Cup. Today we have Yuvia versus the Puck. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> very, very nice to be here. First time for me seeing both of those teams, but hoping for some good games. Uh, Stepan Invoker, quite a regular ban nowadays since 6.8 with the buffs that the Invoker received. Yeah, definitely. And, and of course Nyx Assassin, just such an annoying hero, the Spike Carapace making it so hard to kill him. And the Vendetta just be able to create so much space around the map. I'm anyway looking forward, like I have to admit I've just seen a couple Romanian games and a couple Bulgarian games and sometimes those guys go for interesting drafts but sometimes they are also pretty standard done it as in you, you know them from uh, Pro Dota and I mean so far the uh, except for the Slark ban like the buns are pretty standard I like to see them um, the picks are very interesting the puck is saving the doom <laughs> And there we go. Welcome to Hafla TV. My name is Hafla Moog and with me today is Coucher. We have the honor to broadcast the D2 Romania, the Spring Cup. Today we have Yuvia versus the Puck. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> very, very nice to be here. First time for me seeing both of those teams, but. Hoping for some good games. Uh, Stepan Invoker, quite a regular ban nowadays since 6.8 with the buffs that the Invoker received. Yeah, definitely. And, and of course, Nyx Assassin, just such an annoying hero, the Spike Carapace making it so hard to kill him. And the Vendetta just be able to create so much space around the map. I'm anyway looking forward, like. I have to admit, I've just seen a couple Romanian games and a couple Bulgarian games and sometimes those guys go for interesting drafts but sometimes they are also pretty standard done it as in you, you know them from uh, Pro Dota and I mean so far the... Uh, except for the Slark ban, like the buns are pretty standard I like to see them um, the picks are very interesting, the puck is saving the doom and the Ember Spirit for themselves. The Doom for the Ember Spirit being one of the hardest disable you can find. And the Ember Spirit, well, we had yesterday, I think. Five games with Ember Spirit. All of them pretty amazing. Nice early action, nice late action. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, the Doom can be such a strong hero. I mean, he doesn't start the fastest. Definitely needs to level 6 before he can be a threat. But once he hits that level 6 and starts going around with the Doom, everybody has to be extremely scared of it. Oh yeah, definitely. And I also like the picks for Euphoria there. We have Visage, the early and the mid-game potential is there. We have the Bane, and where is the Bane? There is definitely, definitely something that will synergize with him very well. So I'm looking forward to a stun. Uh. Maybe Mirana, Leshrac, Sand King, anything could synergize with him. Yeah, Euphoria uh, went for almost the uh, exact opposite that the Puck did. The Puck getting two core heroes straight away, whereas Euphoria was going for two supports. Of course, I have once in my life seen a Visage meet. It can happen, <laughs> not not likely, but yeah. So going for two supports and leaving their options open. So the Puck really can't ban out anything specific because they have no idea what heroes will be coming out for them. Yeah, and the new buns we have, there is a Storm, well, Storm, a strong mid, of course, it's always nice to have him out. A Timbersaw, very strong on the offlane, we see, we seen yesterday even, uh, like, a left alone safe lane uh, with the Timbersaw, he came very late in the game, but when he came, he had a huge impact. The AA is also taken out by Euphoria, very strong ultimate, um, um, yeah, and the Dazzle, well Dazzle, yesterday we saw him about five times picked up for Rock's Kiss and there he made quite some impact with the Shallow Grave, nice rescues there 
and the new puck is uh, coming up for uh, Disruptor. Yeah, the Disruptor, I mean, as Ifura did pick up the Life Stealer, the Disruptor picked up, of course, before, but already very nice versus that hero. If he can catch him in the Static Storm, when the Life Stealer can't rage, he's actually quite easy to bring down. Yep. And the puck, they have three heroes. I mean, okay, Disruptor can't say it's a counter, but Lich with the Ice Armor, as well as Doom with his Doom ability, of course. He's so nice versus the life dealer, so they already have something to go up against the Euphoria's one core hero. Yep. Can you can you check your microphone on Dota TV? Like someone just said like it's not transmitting on Dota TV. But anyway, yeah, about the life stealer and uh the, the static feeling. Nobody has yeah, there's no absorber wards picked up yet. And the Lish is also out of mana. Uh out of mana, out of gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh that would be so awesome if you could cast observer wards with mana ah uh -huh. well uh, i really think that they might go for a dual lane bot with the lich and the ember spirit maybe i mean not too sure about it but i don't know why they would send the ember spirit solo bottom and have the doom farming the lane it's just a little bit weird for me yep we have to see how this works out but like i'm actually curious who's who's going to buy those observers because both supports are out of gold, there's nothing on the courier, and the other three people are pretty much heading out, so do they choose to play without observers and just want to make sure they got the two sentries to deward the camp, so they lay all the focus on the safe lane here? Wow, I... oh no, never mind. Uh, no, the Lich sold something and got... Yeah. yeah, the Lich got now a shared sentry, they both share each other the observer and the sentry, and there we go. Like, both supports heading out now. Yep. It, it looks like they are actually going for 2-1-2 two, two lanes and I don't know if that will be too good for the Doom. Doom of course can just jump into the jungle if need be and leave the Disruptor if he is going to the top lane to just uh, leech some XP and not actually get any last hits or anything but just get the levels up. Yep. But what I like is the Magnus mid. The Magnus mid is really nice. It guarantees him some fast levels to, for the level 6. And we have a defensive ward coming out which is gonna support the death knight so no rotations being spotted unless the smoke is used and did we have a smoke pickup yet? I don't think so uh, oh actually I no, we have yeah. one smoke on the bane so they are def definitely, they could rotate into mid, get a kill on the death knight on the death knight, <laughs> jesus dragon knight, <laughs> like you, you can actually s notice that like I'm a world of warcraft player right? with the death knight? yeah of course <laughs> Def nicer also. True. <laughs> yeah, but uh, top lane, we can see that the disruptor is there alone, but Bane just harassing him out. He has to be so scared that once he gets a nightmare, he might get comboed up with the sacred arrow. Yep, definitely. And s so far, it's only the disruptor as the support. But he can take the nightmare. If he's fast, he can take the nightmare off, so he can actually. Maybe he has the time to dodge the arrow. Yeah, Doom is quite squishy early on. Sure, he does have the stout shield, but sitting on zero armor, the right clicks would just be quite devastating and burn through his regeneration quite fast. But Bottle up for the Dragon Knight in the mid lane already, as it is for the Magnus. So both having two Tango shared for them. Wow, Courier has been slain and Vicious comes in for the Dragon Knight. Magnus yep. early on though, no disables for him and Dragon Knight is safe, but the Courier is dead. The Magnus pinged it out and Visage actually rotated from behind, he actually got the courier. Was really close but he got it. Yeah, that's like almost a tower going down, so even not getting the first blood definitely a worthwhile the trip there. And Mirana isn't missing any last hits because of it as well, because it is now a 2-1-2 two -one -two on top, so no problem there. And as you said as well, Visage is making his way down because the life stealer can't really go up against the Lich uh, as well as the Ember Spirit alone. Yeah, that's true. But like, he's already like rotating a bit into jungle. Like, but the only problem is, yeah, well, he got one point in feast now, so yeah, he can actually sustain in jungle for a while with the support of tangos. But yeah. and Mirana is getting some hits. Yeah, Doom Doom's here. really aggressive. Nightmare goes out. There is the arrow. Do they have enough damage? They don't have the star storm, but still the right clicks actually are enough as Pain gets the first blood. Doom wants to try to turn it around. The Thunderbolt also flies, and one more right click. No, the Salve does just enough job beforehand. And 5 HP is what he survives with. Arrow flies out, now just gets a creep. Disruptor is there to try to get the kill, but 
glimpse level one, just yeah. too short of range. It was really like his scorched earth just ran out pretty much when Mirana arrived at the tower. So yeah, just one more tick of this. And it would've been done. So but very the nicely done by them. Vishaj, yeah, on bottom lane, but they can't hold him down anymore. They only have the slows and the searing chains coming out. After that, though, nothing. But it was only the Lich harassing him, I think, because Ember Spirit didn't use the Flame Guard, so definitely was not close enough. Otherwise, the damage over time might have been enough. Yeah. And you see, the Dragonite is actually hurt by it. Oh, Nightmare current. is there, but not a good angle. They still get the arrow, but it's quite a short one at Doom, I think. He will survive, especially with the Scorched Earth. They might turn it around on Bane. A few more right clicks, but Disruptor actually started to turn around a little bit too early. In the meantime, Mirana just right clicking, has the leap, but Salve popped and I think the Doom will be quite fine. Arrow flies, or no, nice arrow done. God, these exchanges, Doom just tanking it up. There is the Thunder Strike up onto Bane and Bane will go down to it as well. Mirana gets the kill on the Doom, can he get the Disruptor as well? The creeps are chasing and yes, Mirana, double kill for him. This is a really nice start for the Mirana. Yeah, I mean, the Puck just overstaying their welcome. First off, they didn't know what they want to do about the Bane. I mean, the Disruptor could have gotten the few extra right clicks in, I think, before he fogged out. But he turned around a little bit too early, whereas Doom still wanted to go for it. And now, a full mana Bane coming in. Has the Enfeeble as well, so once they dive upon the puck, I mean, they really don't have to worry about the right clicks. Visage again in pursuit. Yeah, will he go down though? Ember Spirit doesn't have any spells. All of them are on cooldown and he's low on mana, so... Somehow the visit survives for the time being. Yep. He's only level 3 though, so no Gravekeeper's Cloak, only and zero armor as well. And we have the Courier being back now for the Dire side. Yeah, finally. I mean, Dragon Knight was actually really not lucky, but probably really happy. Oh, top lane some action again though. Disruptor going down as is the Bane or can the Doom actually catch him? Body block does not come out and yes, the Doom gets the kill now. Starts to go on Mirana. I don't think it will come to another kill at the moment. No, but yeah, as I was saying, support. the Dragon Knight, at least he got his bottle before the Courier got killed. So yep. if the Courier had been killed before together with the bottle, I mean, that would have been a 100% lost lane for the Dragon Knight. Yeah, he was lucky he got the bottle right before the Courier was killed. And well, now he's back. He got the, even a Flying Courier now, so he can actually bottle Crow. And the fight of the runes is still commencing though. Yeah, Magnus is a little bit ahead in the mid lane, but only by four last hits so far, so nothing too big. But bottom lane, I mean, the life are doing actually quite a nice job, just staying up in the jungle while Visage trying to leech some XP on the lane, and I mean, yeah. the rotation was pretty nice by them. For the fact that he's absolutely driven out of the lane, I think he swapped around a bit, he got now two oh, points. Oh, they want to go on the Visage. Visage does have boots and he's pretty fast. But level 3, Frostblast will there. Oh, oh, Mirana ultimate already popped actually. So, yep. nothing to come lane out of very that. Very careful here, but the sentry is also popped, so Visage is actually visible if she comes out. Oh, Dragon Knight went down in the mid lane. Yep, with the Mirana ult support. Nicely done and by he them. Finds a double damage rune right on top of that. Very nicely done. I mean, the disruptor was also mid, but nothing he could do really. And he is maxing out the thunder strike. I would really want him to see at least one point in kinetic field and then maxing glimpse because the glimpse on level one is uh, quite useless to be honest. The range is so low, the cooldown is low, mana cost is also high, so you can't really do much with it. Arrow flies out. Top lane misses though, so nothing happening still. Yep. Bottom lane, oh, the puck, they really want to make something happen. Leech level 5 with the level 3 Frost Blast. Loads of damage coming out, and of course, level 3 Flame Guard. 50 damage per second if he's close to somebody. But they're not really getting anything. They always try, but the Visage is so passive, just leeching up XP, and that's. I mean, after all, that's all he needs. XP, get that level 6 up. Yeah, and Lifestealer should be hitting level 6 quite soon as well. So, probably infesting into a creep straight away then, maybe getting some HP and trying to go on the lane. Yep. But mid lane now, Magnus with the double damage and with the kill, he's already up to 1.5k gold after his arcane boots. The courier kill coming in play then, and of course the solo kill 
not solo kill, but the kill that he got on the Dragon Knight. Yeah, this is definitely I mean, a dagger rush. He's gonna be up and ready pretty soon. Yeah, I think he will get it before the 10 minute mark, probably. And with that, oh, bottom lane actually TP's going in there. Vicious might be in trouble. Flame Guard is there. Soul Assumption and TP out by Ember Spirit. The arrow misses and they don't get the kill. So two TP's coming in and they get nothing in return. Yep. That was a double rotation and no gain. That's wasted time for Euphoria. And now Magnus, well, at least he does get the haste room from bottom, so... Not too bad, has the reverse polarity and together with the haste rune actually might want to go on the Dragon Knight who has his ultimate pop, so not the easy target to go on. Yep, they can't really kill him after this. Oh, reverse practice still goes, he is going to skewer him, no, never mind, skewer on cooldown, arrow misses as well. So a completely failed attempt once again. Yep, that was a waste of a haste rune actually. Yeah, I think so too. At least he did get some creeps, so only 300 gold away from the blink dagger, but with the TP to the bottom lane and now the haste run, I really would have hoped for a we kill. Mirana, Oti. They want to go on top lane. Yeah, Doom is level 8 though, so quite tanky already with the arcane boots. But yeah, if they catch the disruptor, that will be an easy kill. Nightmare up onto the Doom and they're just going for disruptor instead. Arrow maxed out level 4, so much damage. Now with the Scorcher of Doom just on the run, he knows he can't fight 2 versus 3. Well, like two versus one, but even the third one coming in for Euphoria. Yep. And Visage also rotated top, but like Disruptor was already dead and Doom on retreating. Like, the Ember has now free farm. He's 55 and 10. He's actually leading now the chart. The Magnus is also doing very well. Oh, stun up onto Magnus together with the Doom. Very nice rotations coming in and Bane and Dark. Ah, can he actually help him? Maybe get the deny. Nice Nightmare on Doom and Dragon Knight doesn't have any mana, so the Magnus might be able to somehow survive actually. This no, and this has to... Oh, he actually oh, survived oh, 15 16, HP. Eh? Yeah. And now Doom in some big trouble. Open wounds does fly out. And Bane should get the kill. Brains have to do the extra damage. And actually, she's up on the life stealer, gets the kill, so very nicely done. Yep. Just coming out of the jungle for the first time and grabbing a kill for himself. And Ember Spirit is now rotating in. They might get the kill he does have. Bring off Aquila and the face puts, so hitting for 100 damage. I think he saw the low HP Naix, but the Naix infested already into a creep and now TPing away to bottom. Like, finally has free farm, but the tier 1 fell, so that's at least some goal for the puck. Yeah, Dragon Knight also pops his uh, ultimate form now, so they definitely want the uh, tier 1 mid lane. Yeah, we are looking for a tower trade now, I think. They want to either go top versus mid, but no, actually, mid is going to be so much faster down. Oh, two might be in some big trouble top lane. There are three. Magnus coming in as well with the blink dagger and the reverse polarity of full down. Visage level 3 soul assumption is ready to be used as well. So the nuke damage will definitely be extremely high. Question is, does he go in? Do they dive the tower? It's very risky and we have the Ember Spirit also heading top. Oh, he knows. He knows Ember Spirit is coming. Can they catch him off guard? The supports are flying in as well. Familiars also come out. Oh, the blink absolutely missing everything. How the hell did he do that? Now the static storm comes out as well. Silent and the Magnus might go down. He does those two. So chain frost used. And the Magnus just big misplaced there. Yep. Not sure I what he wanted to do there. Yeah, it was day as well. He should have had vision on what was going on. I mean. And while all that happens, the Naix is just farming. He is closing in on his drums. Oh, actually, drums are already finished, so going for the race car build. Maybe a Sanjay and Yasha afterwards. Could be. He's definitely chewing that tower away, and like the puck kinda. I don't know. No idea. Yeah, they go for the tier 1. This tier 1 is the next objective for them. And. The Ember Spirit actually closing in now to defend versus the snakes. And Arrow doesn't hit anything. Bottom lane Ember, yeah, comes in. 2.1k gold actually. What do you think he's going to go for? The Ember Spirit, yeah, this is. I don't know, maybe this is. Oh, there is the Fiend Script up on the Ember Spirit. Life's there, just right clicking away. But Frost Blast. Oh no, he's not going down. Doom onto the life stealer instead. Finally, Ember Spirit drops, but they're now chasing the Bane as well. Bane, can he TP out? There shouldn't be any stuns. Nightmare on the Doom gets taken off by the Lich, and Bane will go down. No mana for the TP after the Nightmare. Yeah. Oh, but so unlucky. Yeah, very unfortunate. And top lane, Dragonite might be in some trouble. 
There is the reverse polarity still. He goes in, wants to get the disruptor. Static storm flies out. And now the stun under the tower. Magnus actually misplaced once again. Can he get anything? Tries to skewer out. Frost Blast gets the kill by the Lich. Yeah, very nice rotation by the Lich there. Magnus was about to skew out, but like, he got his Frost Blast in. Was pretty much also the last mana he had. And yeah, it was enough to kill the Magnus. I really don't understand that. Uh, is the Magnus under such high pressure that he's making the misplays or what? Yeah, the quite often on a Magnus player who is like, oh, I have to, I have to make great RPs and everything, and then he's like trying to force something, but you, yeah. He was just running around under the tower and just got killed before he could pop the reverse polarity once again. He was like in that dilemma. He didn't want to waste it. Oh, we have to go here on the Doom. Yeah, actually, Ember Spirit going. Oh, bottom lane, Mirana gets the jump out. Doom also manages to escape with the scorch derf. The moon is just slightly too fast. And Magnus tries to come in, the Lich ultimate flies, but no bounces. So Magnus <laughs> has to repeat, uh, go back home, I think. Yep. Has the bottle charges to get some life back, and the Lich goes for a hand of Midas. <laughs> the greedy supports. Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> investing into the future. And as he picks up the Midas, Dragon Knight does get his Shadow Blade. So in 35 seconds, when the Elder Dragon form gets off cooldown, they can go for some easy pick off because I don't think e Euphoria is suspecting it. What's very interesting as well is that like the sentries we saw we saw at the start and everything, none of them I think no, one of them has been played now against the Mirana OT here, but like there's no like D warding coming in. Like so far like, both teams are not really interested in map vision. Like we have Yeah, we have here this traditional ward at this point, but like bottom room, nobody's interested in bottom room. Top room at the moment, also no vision for the puck. And yeah. And I think the disruptor might be going down. There was the sentry, but he didn't notice in time. Nightmare is there. Arrow to follow by the Mirana. Actually, no! He misplays. He starts to right click the static storm to buy him some time. Together with the glimpse, back into the static storm. Mirana on the run finally hits the arrow, and they do get the kill in the end. But Mirana. And in the mid lane, we have a go on. Yeah, Mirana ultimate gets popped. They are in risk. They should be able to survive for the time being. But Ember Spirit in some big trouble. Reverse polarity was used already. And no. They don't want to go for it. Even though they would have had the opportunity to, to initiate. Dragon Knight does find Life Stealer. Stun goes out. Together with the Doom. Very nicely done. Blink dagger for the Doom. Making things happen. Yep. He was a trying very to hide nice there. Kill. But like they knew he had to be around somewhere here. Magnus is coming in with the invisibility, can maybe skewer somebody under the tower, but with no reverse polarity, polarity I don't think it will be and too much. Oh! Out. They see him now. The skewer goes out as well, but the stun immediately together with the glimpse, and Magnus should be going down. Fiend's grip onto the Ember Spirit, though. He will go down, I think, a few more right clicks. Somehow still surviving Doom, does Hoof Stomp, or War Stomp rather, but goes down in the end because fighting under the tower. Not too awesome, 15 minutes in. Disruptor does get caught. Grave chill to slow him down. And Magnus gets the kill with his shockwave. Yep, very nice place there. Like, it's definitely a fall from back. Like, Magnus still dying, but like at least he screwed someone. And the Doom, like, being caught out of position there, under the tower. I was almost sure the Ember Spirit is gonna drop as well, but... Just Euphoria didn't have any leftover heroes to deal damage to him. Only the Visage together with the Bane were trying to kill him, but it just wasn't enough. And Ember Spirit going to the back of the fight, going to his active Fire Remnant. And he totally wants to backstab this. Is there the reverse priority? No, there isn't. Chains up onto the Bane and the Visage getting the two, two support heroes. Why, why? Now going in for the stun. Two heroes already down. Life Stealer going in with the Rage, with the open wounds, life stealing up as best as he can. Mirana does get glimpsed back and Slight of Fist by Tiger gets the kill. And a buy back by, by, by Bane. Bane. Oh, nice two chains once again onto Magnus. Can't really follow up though, even though with the Shadow Blade, they aren't just fast enough. They needed two with the blink. He's still waiting, he's still waiting. Maybe someone is coming out. And yeah, he the sure Bane, can hope. The Bane is actually coming pretty close. Oh, but now should have right now. I think it's really nice actually that uh, Doom went for the arcane boots that way. Oh, Glimpse is there and can they catch it? Bane barely gets out of the kinetic field. But yeah, as I was saying, the arcane boots, very nice pickup, I think, for the puck. 
Ah, uh, Stragonite going in. Does he get the stun? Throws a right click first. No familiar stuns to stop him. Grave Chill to slow him down. Fiend's Grip up on the Dragonite as well. Can anybody stop it? Yes, nice War Stomp by the Doom. Static Storm coming out as well. Nice reverse polarity up onto two heroes with skewer on to three and all the three heroes are dead now with the fourth as well and the fifth being chased down goes to his active fire remnant doesn't get hit by the shockwave but still on the run and no fire remnants he's, left yeah he's out of remnants like he actually has to care now shockwave but... hits but the flame guard absorbs it all now blink tanker should be coming out rather soon for the magnus and haystrun Picked up by Mirana, and I think they can chase the Ember Spirit down. No help coming in from his teammates, and yeah, the Storm Storm oh, plus one very right nice. click. She got a haste rune, like the probably the most luckiest rune of his life. There, <laughs> he couldn't find a better one there. Yeah, and the start of the fight, I mean, pretty nice for Euphoria. Disabling yep. the Dragon Knight, and the Dragon Knight uh, being so low on mana, he couldn't even breathe fire. Now, tier one tower going down. Immediate Shadow Blade by the Dragon Knight doesn't want to get caught. Doesn't want to get. Uh, yeah, just. Oh, arrow. Doing nothing. Glimpse now back up onto the lifestyle. Doesn't have the rage. Gets stuck in the kinetic field, but Euphoria is there with full force. And Disruptor actually might go back in return. And yes, he does do so. The combination of Soul Assumption and Bane's uh, ability. Brain Zap. Yeah, Brain Zap. It's. Jesus. The Dragonite on the hunt does want to get the stun. They really need the Static Storm to follow up the stun, I think. They're going in now though. And Ember Spirit just gets killed off so damn fast. Very nice. Very nice play there. I mean, the just looking at the graphs, the Puck, they had quite, quite an advantage. Yep, the Puck just fell back from a 3k advantage to a 3k disadvantage on XP. And we have in gold. Yeah, they had a 5k advantage and now we are almost at the zero graph and this graph is going to go into Euphoria's direction right now just because they have two towers now, two team fights for absolutely their advantage and yeah. That one big RP just uh, turning the tables around on the puck. Yep, that RP was really, it was very late. I, I didn't even think he went for that RP, but like suddenly the RP came out, it called free. And now we have uh, things inside the Magnus and they're ready to go again. The RP is up again. They oh up no, it might be trouble. Dragonite wants to go in, wants to get the surprise jump, but he doesn't have Dragon for activated. Moonlight Shadows is activated and Dragonite on the run. Fiend script is there as well. Together with the skewer, Static Storm is actually pretty nice. Together with the Doom up on the Magnus, Reverse Polarity didn't get to be used. Now, the Chain Frost flying around, but Lich goes down nevertheless as the Rage from the Lifestyle allows him to tank it up. Ember Spirit also falling in the midst of the fight. And that is a 3 for 1 exchange. Yeah, that was also very interesting. The arrow flying through all this fight and hitting the Lich for a very long duration. And the Ember Spirit like barely got away and then still... The urn was ticking and there was another arrow following him by the Mirana and that was enough to finish him off. So also very unlucky there. Even though I think the, the death mate opening his intention was good, but I think it was a bit after he saw the Mirana OT going up. I don't know. Maybe Yeah, maybe they just hesitated change. a little bit. I think they should have been ready. The sentry did come out, but it was just a tad late for the fight. And you have to say this fight was without the RP, the, ma the like the Nex was still infested in the doomed Magnus, so Magnus was out of the equation by the Doom, which was good, but still, they won the fight without the RP, just imagine this fight would have started with an RP initiation and then everything, uh, maybe the Doom even dying early. I think we would have yeah, faced an uh, absolute team wipe here, so I think this was already like a good case scenario for the Puck facing him. Yeah, I mean, Euphoria is just so strong all of a sudden, hitting their stride. But the Puck, they want to counteract it, they are eyeing the Mirana on the bottom lane. Doom still on cooldown for another 13 seconds, so very hard to get the kill. But they're coming in from the back, they do go in, the Leaf goes out, but he gets stunned, gets chained as well, and Mirana actually will go down, Star Storm was used. The bait is the reverse polarity up on the Doom as well, nice two-man skewer, followed up by the Shockwave, and the Doom will go down, or will he? A few more right clicks are necessary, and he does get chased down, the Shockwave will finish him up. And Ember is on the run, running now into the enemy's base. Oh, I don't think he will manage to escape oh, unless he has a fire works. remnant somewhere, which he does. But the Magnus but is Magnus there. He was, was waiting already for waiting it. on the remnant, directly on point. Very nice there. Like they don't get distracted. The Magnus was waiting, 
Now we know why the Magnus was so under pressure. Now finally he comes out with the good plays, but he wanted to come out, out with those plays right from the start. So yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely making up for the earlier mistakes. Yeah, he's definitely making up for it now. I see four staff as well, so extremely mobile. Can help his teammates get out of trouble as well if needed. And we see the race car life dealer, Sanjay Yasha, picked up. Yeah, very nice. Also very, but like one thing though, like the the Ember got the dominating spree from the Mirana, so that definitely helped him. I hope he spent something off it. Uh, before he died. I mean, he has now a Crystalis, so that answers your question what he went for. He went Drums, yeah. Crystalis, and... Uh, oh, we have Mirana oh, Oti coming Shadow. Yeah. They want to go for somebody, but there's a Sentry and then an Observer Ward, so they should be fine. This Observer Ward, yeah, it's it's running out though, and at the moment, when it comes to map vision, definitely advantage for the puck. And... Yeah... Uh, Solalish got caught out in the jungle the by the Mirana. Oh. Ember Spirit was thinking about coming in from behind with the Flame Guard activated. But just forced to run away now as the Flame Guard will run off rather soon. We see the Magnus having the nakes as a passenger and yeah, he's, he's waiting for something. The birds scout out right now. Question is, do they find something? It seems like the pug knows that something is coming, but now the disruptor shows. And the decay on top. Yeah, it's really hard to fight for the puck, especially as uh, Visage has the mech as well. So they have so much more sustain than the puck has. And of course, the blink dagger up on the Magnus. They're, <laughs> they're on the hunt on the high ground. And the puck, the puck has to be like really careful here for spreading out. They have to spread out. If that if that Magnus gets a classy RP, then I don't know. This is really bad. And the sentry's coming out, so they don't have initiation for the death mode. But Haste Rune is there on the Dragonite, he can, can come in from the backside if he wants to. Just pop his lever to ultimate yep. and come in Shadow Blade. still under the sentry, if the Bane is fast enough, they get him. And he's coming in, Haste Rune activated. Wants to get somebody going for the Mirana, but Mirana just a little too fast with the leap. And they managed to get absolutely nobody. But Another Magnus, opportunity wasted. Magnus is waiting for it, he's waiting for that classic. Arrow movie. flies... Nope, misses everybody. Man, I'm getting cold feet here. This is some standoff. Something is happening any second now. Oh, the Enfeeble. Level 4 Enfeeble. Up on the Ember Spirit. He doesn't do any damage almost with that. And there's the arrow hit. Yeah, it does it. Oh, actually stun on the Mirana as well. Mirana might be in trouble. RP on to do Static Storm to follow though. And the life there can't do anything. Gets doomed up and on the run. Shivas is activated by the Doom as well to slow the life stealer down. And Lifestealer, I think he will survive if no more damage is done to him. Disruptor though, is nightmared up and Doom going down. War Stomp onto two heroes. Chain Frost, bouncing on every single hero. Very nicely done as Lich barely escapes. Bane does go down. Mirana on the run as well. And look at that movement speed with the leap and the Manta Slime. I want to go back in. Nakes now, open wounds. Oh, Amber Spirit does get the kill. But Disruptor will go down yeah. as a return. So Ember the Nades was, was nice actually though. waiting there, like he didn't go back even though he was just there with 200 HP after the Doom, but yeah, he was patiently waiting. And you also saw like a very nice dodge of a Klims with Infast. He got Klims by the uh, Disruptor and he infested the creep and therefore the Klims was disabled. Pretty nice play and fast reaction there. Yeah, but overall the puck actually come out ahead in that fight. Yeah, a tiny bit, even though, I mean, the RP was nice, but like it instantly got disrupted ulti. So, like, whatever they had, they stood there and like couldn't really do anything. Plus, the lifestealer being doomed, he was out of the fight for all that duration. So, Ember just took out the the supports. And yeah, I mean, they got the disruptor, but like, for what price? That's the question. Yeah, I mean, the disruptor was quite fast with his static storm, making sure that uh, Nakes can't rage up and do anything. But he did not get the kinetic field on top of that, so actually once the nakes got doomed up, he could just run away. So rather unfortunate there, but still they get three kills. Mirana, I really thought she can escape with face boots activated, with the leap extra movement speed, and the Manta style as well. He was practically hasted, but one fire remnant by the Ember Spirit, and he caught up somehow. Yep. And now we also see some farm coming up on the Doom, and the Doom is gonna be like the Aura carrier. He's already having a Shiva's up. We see a Plink Dagger for initiation, which is probably oh, very Ember nice. Spirit? Yeah, no, he's too fast for the Bane. 
But he has to be careful, like if he gets caught out with Nightmare into Enfeeble, like there's nothing they can do. They're going back in. Oh, he's going in, yeah. God, he's playing so ballsy. The arrow comes out. No. <laughs> Woo! That was a close was, one. It was so scary for the but They still want to go. They still want to go. And the Mirana is here. The question is, do they find the Mirana? Oh, ultimate buff by the Dragon Knight. Mirana leaps out and TPs away and no vision for him. Oh, they actually get it. Slide the fist together with the Serum Chains. Do they have any detection? Yeah, there's a sentry on Disruptor. Not used it yet. They don't know exactly where Mirana is. I think. No, the dust, dust gets popped as well. But they Very don't have is. vision on him. And the leap now off cooldown. Will there be a stun? They disable anything. No, he leaves. <laughs> Mirana coming out. Oh my god. And glitches to the other side. <laughs> and in all that time, they just go for Roshan. Like the puck really desperately trying to get a kill here. And I think they're gonna lose a Roshan for it. They didn't even notice it was coming. So they're all five here, top. The Mirana is still alive and laughing, probably, and yeah. in the meantime, very slow but undetected Roshan. Yeah, and the Magnus actually empowered the Bane instead of the Lifestealer, which is, <laughs> I, I think, very unorthodox. The Lifestealer doing the most amount of damage, so the Empower would give him percentage-wise the highest damage as well, but they will get it in the end, and that will be the Lifestealer together with the Aegis now. And Bashar finished up in 400 gold. So Lifestealer, I mean, also probably very starting. Lucky, like, there was a regeneration rune, so Lifestealer being almost dead to Roshan now has a regeneration rune, can just continue farming. So that pressure is coming out any second. Yeah, it was a very nice rune. I mean, Euphoria. First haste rune for the Mirana when they were chasing the Ember Spirit. Like no, regeneration rune after Roshan. Yep. Sometimes yeah. runes are just awesome. Oh, top lane though, Mirana this time in big trouble. Doomed up. Searing chains by the Ember Spirit and Ember Spirit can't escape, tries to TP away and should be able to because there's no Basher up on Lifestealer yet. Very unfortunate. 200 away from the Basher, the Basher would have made a difference here interrupting that TP, but yep, he's 200 gold away. The rest is already sticking in the inventory and Ember's coming back to his remnant now. He's already back. He could go on the nakes, but I doubt he can kill him or. You can just harass, maybe try to get the rage out. And once the rage is out, actually, he might get jumped upon. Are there blink dagger, static yeah. storm? Maybe. Yeah, glimpse is there. Kinetic field, static storm. Kinetic field misses once again as to the searing chains. And now he's turning around on the disruptor. Rage, open wounds. No, goes down, but has the ages. the ages. But I think after the ages, they can't follow oh, up. Oh, Lich manning up. The Lich will definitely go down. Infest comes out. Lich mech is used, but soul assumption together with the open wounds. Chain Frost flies out and bounces a couple of times, but not too much. Will there be a reverse polarity? Nice. Chew by the Ember Spirit. Just going from one place to another. But he will get caught in the end as open wounds. Easter on the Doom. Doom will escape, but Ember Spirit not so lucky. Gets Fiend Script up and goes down easily to the Bane. Yeah, some nice tries there to Chew, but like overall, like there were five heroes just waiting for whatever position he is going to. So, yeah. No way to escape there. And actually there will be a pipe of insight finished up for the Magnus in That's the next upcoming minutes. Definitely gonna help, yeah. Completely negating the Lich uh, ultimate as well as the Ember Guard damage, most of it. Flame Guard, I mean. <laughs> yeah, the Lich hasn't, hasn't been very lucky with the bounces anyway. Like, like last fight we saw a couple bounces. I think we got like five into the fight. But like, this time he got two bounces and then uh, Euphoria actually spread up very nicely. So they negated all of those bounces. Not much damage come out of the Lich here. Yeah, I mean, definitely a nice spread by Euphoria. And Dragon form popped by the Dragon Knight, but don't get anybody. Euphoria back out straight away. But and they the still have the reverse damage. polarity. Magnus is up on the hill pretty much. Doom goes in, misses the war storm. Can they go for him? Familiar stuns, three man reverse polarity together with the skewer and so much AOE damage coming out. BKB finally popped by the Dragon Knight, but won't be enough I think. There is the Nightmare onto the Ember Spirits who now goes to the Fire Remnant and gets back to safety, but two heroes down. BKB on cooldown as well for the Dragon Knight and the tower will fall after the fact. And they got just continue on the racks and look with this Aghanim's Familiars, they are just going. This is yeah, going to be a rack and So, first set of melee racks are going down. I think the puck, they are definitely on the pack foot. They can come back together with the Doom, Ember and of course the Dragon Knight 
but they need to pick up way more farm than they have currently. Yep. Like, yeah, the puck absolutely on the back foot here now, and with this lane being pushed down, this is going to be even harder to defend. And so far, I mean, you are you coming out of all these fights now as a winner, I think they could just continue. Get mana HP back and then they just continue mid. I mean, there's still a tier 2 tower holding them back, but... I don't think they care too much. The Familiar is doing so much damage on that tower. Keeps pushing in. This is going to be very hard for them to defend. Yeah, and their ultimates, they don't have the longest cooldowns. 100 seconds on both the Fiend's Grip as well as the Reverse Polarity by now. And can they find somebody? Dragon Knight? They don't have any vision though. Dragon Knight just in the middle of the enemies with the, sh with the Shadow Blade. Yeah, and as I said, they're gonna just keep pushing. Tier 2 is down now, the base is absolutely open. Just two Tier 3s are holding him back. Oh, Mirana gets the Courier kill. Oh, very nice. This is the second Courier kill for Euphoria. Yeah, very there nice wa bonus wasn't there. anything on it, but still. One extra tower gold pretty much going their way, and now, just net worth wise, Four heroes on Euphoria are topping any hero on the puck, and that's definitely a good sign. And now already Pipe of Insight gets popped, they're just going on the tower, they don't care whatsoever. As Rage was used though, the Lifestealer has to back out, no ages for him to play around with. Dragonite is there with the stun up onto the Vicious, but Vicious too tanky. Moonlight Shadows also popped, and Magnus is on the hunt, using the four staff to get himself into position. And Mirana baiting it, no, leaps away. I love this Magnus, it's such a traditional play, like slow siege and waiting till the Magnus get like up to three targets or more. Yeah, I mean, if he gets, I think if he gets two already, it will be the deciding factor for the oh, fight. Oh, losing a familiar here, was scouting out the side with that so. Rage up by the Lifestealer, just hits on the tower, once Rage ends, probably going back out. Dragon Knight wants to get the stun on somebody, but once his Elder Dragon form runs out, oh, Glimpse comes to the Lifestyle, gets stunned out as well. Static Storm is there, nobody can come to help, but there's just no TPS coming out. He does finally fall, but BKB was forced out by the Dragon Knight. Now Ember Spirit on the run, can he sear up anybody? Chains are off cooldown, well, on cooldown. I think they will catch the Vichy here. Oh, nice arrow, stopping Doom. Oh, he got glimpsed back. I was like, well, where the hell did Vicious go? Nobody's but finally, going for that we'll go down. Yeah, like, that was strange. Nobody was, like, everybody was, like, ignoring that message. Yeah, they finally do get the kill. I mean, two nice kills and the gem on the ground now as well, thanks to that. The gem, a very, very valuable pickup. In the mid lane, though, oh, Fiend Scrip up onto Dragon Knight, Star Storm, and Skewer by the Magnus finishes it up. There does come out the pipe of inside. Doom is there. Reverse polarity only on the Doom, but he can't get out. He's in the kinetic field. Will he go down though? He is quite tanky and the Ember Spirit dropping really low. Doom up on the Mirana so he can't run away. But he's still so fast hearing chains and they do get the kill in the end. But Ember Spirit on the run and Magnus going for it. Shockwave does get the kill as well. Bane is there, but no spells almost available. Kinetic field completely missing. Glimpse. Back out. Oh, the Bane tried to force staff himself on the high ground, but the Glimpse stopped that from happening. Now the War Stomp and Bane finally will go down. But the damage, there is no damage coming on the Puck side. Like, Lich Disruptor and the Doom, like, he, he got a couple items, but none of them are really, like, damage heavy. It's like, yeah, it was almost pain to watch, like, how long they take for a Bane support to kill. Yeah, I mean, three of them are killing a Bane for, like, 10 to 15 seconds, just. Yeah. This is definitely not the optimal way you want to have. And now because the Disruptor is actually heading to the Secret Shop. Maybe he was the one who was staring the uh, Courier there into Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Might be. Uh, he's got no idea, actually. No, yep. but I, oh, I think it was the Demon Age for the Ember Spirit, probably, that got the Courier killed in the end. Yeah, that was a very risky play there, sending the courier out to the secret shop when you have the enemy team sitting in front of your T3 tower. Like, you should have known that maybe even the Marana like, is waiting there, maybe getting a courier snipe. And yeah, it's the second courier snipe. It's in, on top of all of that, like, two courier kills. It's nice for the gold. But the Daedalus is now picked up by the Ember Spirit, so some damage will definitely be coming out. But will it be enough as an Abyssal Blade is also there for their Lifestealer? So he is hitting harder, plus the bashes will just make 
a huge difference when you go one on one. Oh, now he's sneaking away those familiars. All three of them. Oh, this oh, is very, very nice goal nice. for him. And Visage. Ah, he doesn't have a resummon. This familiar set is actually gone to nowhere. They're down for 80 seconds. Yeah, well, I think you Forest still wants to go for it with the reverse polarity and the fiend script off cooldown. They want to take the fight. Will they find it though, uh, as Dragonite? On the hunt, doesn't have his level 3 ultimate yet, only half a level away from it. If only he had that, the damage would come out just that little much higher. And the kiting around might help in the fight, but... Yeah, RP is ready. Question is, does Nyx infest now? No, I, I think they want to go for slow siege. They just hit the tower, go out, wait for the next creep wave here. You see the Manta Illusions already nagging on the tower. And the tower is going soon down. Yeah, only 100 HP, I think. They actually maybe should deny it, but just want to waste as much time for Euphoria as possible because once the tower is down, Euphoria is going in for the fight. The pipe is already popped, tower goes down, and together with the rage, life still gets back to safety. And nice warding there coming out, just to make sure that DK doesn't get an opening. Though this is two sentries almost overlapping each other, and yeah, but now nah, there's the counter warding. They, I don't know if the visage saw that uh, the puck already has a gem. So, they're definitely well aware of those wards. Oh, like, there's a smoke actually coming out. Will they get caught? Dragonite gets the stun on the Lifestealer. The Static Storm is there, Kinectic build to follow. And there's the chain process when the Lifestealer will go down before the fight. Actually, Mirana really low as well. But free man RP once again, together with the Skewer. But it's just not enough. Lifestealer buys back. Can he get back into the fight in time though? As Bane and Visage also fall down. Three heroes dead. Actually, four heroes together with one buyback and the Puck. Yeah. The perfect fight? Pretty much. Like, the Lifestealer caught in the Kinetic Field, couldn't Rage, couldn't Ultimate, and the Mirana was, was doomed, so Mirana dying pretty much very fast, and yeah. Even though he got a Freeman RP, there was no one to follow up. Lifestealer already being dead, Mirana already retreating, and then eventually still dying, and even the Magnus got after the score. Uh, Klim's back, so Oh, going in for the Ember Spirit though. Oh, very nicely done. And this Immediate. is another set of familiars going down. Like, he's actually feeding those familiars at the moment. The puck is striking back now. They want to go for Roshan as well, I think. The frost armor is up. Level 3. Oh, actually level 4 now. Up on the Dragon Knight. So, Rosh is hitting quite slow. And the Dragon Knight, together with his passive armor, just doesn't care at all. But they need a little mo bit more damage to make it make the Roche sh safely. Every hero is up already for Euphoria, so the Roche not fast enough. Yeah. That's... I don't know, this is really unfortunate because now they had the time for Roshan and that maybe would have tipped over the game. I mean, looking fast back into the grabs and look at this, Euphoria had 12,000 uh, lead in experience and now we are back to 2,000, so this is graph is, is nearing zero and we have yeah, we have 12,000, we had 12,000 on Euphoria, and now also this craft is going down, but still 10k lead. So in gold, it's still looking good. Yeah, it is, but the puck is definitely showing some signs of life, and the game is far from ho over. 40 minutes in, it's still anybody's to take. Yep. But as long as uh, Magnus gets the RP before their carries are dead, I think that should win the fight for the puck, but the puck, of course, the next fight probably in their own base, so if they have buybacks, they can come and just try to turn it around because they can get into the fight, whereas the life dealer, once he bought back, there was no way for him to get into the fight, so the buyback a little bit premature. Yeah, I guess. But also this gold lead, like 10k, of course it is still some gold lead on the heroes, but like if you look at the tower situation, I mean, there's three tier 2 still standing for Euphoria, but like there's only one tier 3 left for the puck and yeah the gold advantage is coming heavily from this and I think they're sneaking now into this Roshan the question is does the the puck detect this? Um, oh we sure hope they do they leave yeah they it. have the ward here they have a ward so yeah. they spotted it out I mean they went in with smoke but it's probably still too risky for you for it they say like no if we go for this guys this might be too risky and I th yeah, think it, it might even be the right choice if they get caught by the static storm connecting field again, then yeah, just in the rush pit, that would go. be that would be really that would be lethal. And now we see the smoke on the other side. Yeah, PKB is up on the doom as well. Ten second one. 
so can stay in the fight for quite a long time. Go Scepter up on the Lich. So Life Stealer and the Mirana oh, won't those be Those teams gonna meet here now in a second. And there we go. Oh, Sash we just gets found, gets stunned up. There's the reverse party, but only on the Dragon Knight. Static Storm is there as well. Catching only the Vicious, unfortunately. Doom up on the Life Stealer, who actually gets glimpsed back as well. Dragon Knight still alive somehow. Moonlight Shadow goes out. Buyback by the Ember Spirit. Dragon Knight finally ultimate together with the BKB popped. And one hero down, Mirana going down as well. The War Stomp. Actually making work and Bane now, no, they get the kill on the Dragon Knight. Just too much burst damage with the Brain Sap, but Ember Spirit coming in from a long range and they will get two kills for it. Double kill for the Ember Spirit. Glimpse back on the Life Stealer and the Rage on cooldown now. Stuns up the Doom and will he go down? Yes, he does go down. Fall as well, the Familiars killing him off. But Magnus, I think he will fall down in return, gets caught. In the kinetic field, and can you blink out? No, the damage is constantly coming from the disruptor. Searing chains and the ember spirit just right clicking away, wow. and the crits. That the was crits. An amazing fight. Yeah, nice crits. Like the familiar trying to save the Magnus there, but yeah. Wow, the Lich bounces yeah. went for all 10. For all 10 between familiars and some BKB heroes, but still. Absolute maximum damage there, even chewing through the pipe, and yeah. Like, this was a Magnus buyback, and he came back into the fight, and still, it was a team wipe. So, this was actually more than a team wipe. This was team wipe plus one. That was, like, one of the best buybacks I have ever seen. The Ember Spirit buying back and getting an ultra yeah. kill. And now we see the craft is heading downwards, and in XP, the craft finally is back on the other side. The puck is getting back into the game, even with one lane down. They have now a 4k experience advantage. Now the question is, do they get back in gold? Are they able to push out this lane here on top? Because while we were fighting, this lane was chewing on the tier 4 towers. One tier 4 is down, the other one is at half HP. And I think this is exactly what keeps Euphoria still in the game. Like, if Puck had the opportunity to push right now and win another team fight, they could probably finish this game. But like, with this Rax already being down, there's nothing they can do, and Visage is gonna enforce this as well because the familiars are pushing this lane in. There's nothing they can do. While they fight, the familiars do their jobs, and now, yeah, Mirana is also pushing out the lane, making sure that the puck is never being in a position to push out. So we yeah, can see good fights here, yeah, but I don't, I don't think the puck can actually reach the other's base without losing too much on their own. This yeah, I think uh, that's where Ember Spirit comes into play. He now got his Battle Fury. So can push out the lane extremely fast, maybe leave a fire remnant in the middle of the map to make sure he can actually reach the fight or his team yeah. while he pushes the top lane. To be honest, like I think this Battle Fury might have been even a better choice as the first item because all these fights they have been so clumped up. Maybe he would have gotten more damage because if you if you uh, watch the other fights, like you saw that he wasn't really lucky with the crits on the fist. Like, oh, smoke oh, up! I actually there. arrow on Ember Spirit. But there's no follow oh, up. Such a lucky arrow now they at least know that something is going on. They know that the probably the enemy team is smoked or maybe that, that the Dragon Knight was there hunting. Yeah, it's either Dragon Knight in his shadow plate or they are smoked. But and the smoke is running out anyway soon and the other team they know something is going on. They just wait. They scout out Dra Roshan now with an arrow and another hit on the list. Oh no. <laughs> but no, still they don't no follow, follow up. ups. This is two bull's eye, but yeah. No yeah, they just don't have any vision and they dare not follow up, but the top lane just with the Visage Familiars pushing in quite heavily and he's going for the ranged Parax, he might get it now. Back to 10 damage and just not enough. But Dragonite on the hunt has his Assault, Quiras finished as well. So he's attacking faster and if now this t fight, if he can pop the Elder Dragon form together with the BKB before he gets brought down to quarter HP, it can just be so so devastating. This is a fourth and back, like Visage doing a nice micro chop here. And yeah, the Rex range doesn't regenerate since patch and that means like they can go for it. Like glad gladly the tier three and mid is still there so they can't wrap Dodo on the on the mid lane, but like on the top lane. This is really bad for the puck. They have to get the initiative here. Oh we have Arrow. another five second arrow oh, there on really? the lish. <laughs> But still, nothing to follow up. But Roshan is down to half HP already, so might get brought on. Oh, aggressive blink in by the two. He is the one carrying the gem as well. They yeah, take they care swapped of it from the Lish to the Doom. And the I familiars are back. Choice. Red to the familiars. Who needs a Furion when you got a Visage?
Oh, how God, the puck must be so frustrated with the situation they're in. They constantly have to push out the top lane as well as take care of the familiars. It's just so hard to play when you're already one set of racks down. And and you see, they're actually trying, like the Mirana is trying to get them into a dilemma because the Ember Spirit is now on top lane because it is already pushing in with the Enforced Creeps there, with the Empowered Creeps, I mean. Like the Visage is Red Dotoing on the Strange tracks here in the bottom lane. And in the meantime, they just, you know, fake go into Roshan, so the other team has to check. So the puck is definitely split out. So if a fight breaks out, the Ember is definitely too late. The Lish is now far away. Very nice play by Euphoria. They forced them to split up. Yeah, and now Bane has a BKB as well, so Euphoria, I mean, their fights are looking that much better. I think the only thing that can stop the Bane's Fiend script now is the Lich Ultimate, the first bounce, if it gets cast on the Bane. Or am I wrong? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So a full duration Fiend script, five seconds on somebody, complete isolation for him. The only way actually might be that, uh, well, of course, the Doom can disable it as well. But I really think that there might be enough right-click damage to actually kill the Bane, but I don't think they will prioritize the Bane as the kill, so the Bane yeah, should get a full-duration Fiend Scrip out. It's also with the buyback status. Like, right now, the only one having buyback is Doom, Mirana. The Disruptor and Visage, that's like two heroes on each side and all the others they have either lacking the gold or lacking the timer still, like lacking the time on the timer. And uh, hmm. if they lose something here, with this split up, if one of them gets caught out like with no buyback, then this is the window Euphoria needs to push in. Yeah, and they re need really little to actually do something because range tracks almost down already on the bottom lane. So, of course, the racks are exposed, no tower there. If they win one fight, I think that will be GG for the game, unless the puck gets gold for buyback on multiple heroes. Yeah, at the same time, that's really a dark time coming for the puck here. Absolutely dilemma what to do. And the Magnus reconnected, so the question is now, is his internet stable? I really hope so, because in the second half of the game, he absolutely picked up and they're ready. He picked up in his performance, like his RPs were nicely on spot, sometimes caught out, but still, like his RPs can be the absolutely game changer. Yeah, and they actually might be able to finish off Roche now, they knew that the Ember Spirit is on the top lane, they don't know where a Fire Remnant is left by him. Yep. But and still, Mirana they should is be just able to going see. in, getting Roche lower, then going in again, the Familiars are already ready to rat. Look, they're hovering here on the high crown. And they're going back into the range tracks after the creeps are pushing in. That's all they want. Split up team puck. Yeah. And Mirana's going back into Roshan. Yeah, first arrow up on the Roche. Scouting and just doing damage at the same time. But they don't want to risk it too much because they don't have buybacks themselves, as you said. So, so much on the line currently. And is there a smoke for the puck? Nope, no smoke. Just trying to catch somebody off guard, but... Just for to go farm up the lanes and push them out. But still, like, Team Euphoria is here. Now they have Vision with the Remnant in the Roshan. Roshan is very low. They see that, so someone must have been there. Now, th the Familiar is pushing out. Mirana sending the Illusions top. And yeah, that's why DK has to defend. Change miss. Oh, wait, disruption. I mean, Glimpse goes out, Moonlight Shadows. He gets caught in the kinetic field. But after the Moonlight Shadows. The puck just on the run. Oh, the bottom range racks get taken down by the familiars. Dragonite finds the familiars. Can he get the kill on them? The doom goes out as there's a fight at Roche with Roche almost down. Chain Frost flies out finally. Bane uses his PKB Static Storm up onto two heroes. The Magnus can't get the reverse polarity. He's caught, but there's just no damage coming out at the same time. Searing chains don't hit now. either. And Magnus reverse polarity only on a single hero, but Doom will fall probably as Mirana leaps away from the Dragon Knight. So one down for Euphoria as two down, but buyback from the Disruptor. And oh. Mega Kill goes out for the Ember Spirit as he kills yeah. the Magnus. Roche goes down as well. Mirana very nicely sneak there. Can he get the Leech as well? Gets the arrow, but Dragon Knight with the Breathe Fire. And at gets the same the time, Nyx is 
ratting on the bottom lane. Oh god, Mirana gets the jump out as well, or does he? There's the searing chains and the TP is out just in time. 200 HP, one yeah. right slick the missing. now fighting on the bottom lane. Yeah, he will, I think, go down. Doom is running from him. Doom is quite tanky, but the open wounds actually flying out. Oh, Disruptor wanted to body bug, but missed the chance. So life stealer, no infest and might go down as the Ember Spirit comes in. And yes, the Lich is there as well, and there will be a kill up on the life stealer. Ah, oh, that is really unfortunate. Like he didn't get the rain tracks. I mean, the rain tracks still there is a siege engine, but rain tracks on like 40% HP. So, who was the winner of this fight? It was long. It was spread out. A Roshan was involved. Backdooring was involved. Elaine even pushing was involved. I have no idea who who is the winner of this fight. I think it was quite even. I mean, Euphoria did get the Aegis and the Roche kill gold for it. Sure, the Aegis got popped, but Mirana in the end survived barely, but still survived. Nevertheless, look, look at the familiar suiciding on the racks. Oh God! This Rax is going down at some point, and he's resummoning the familiars. Yeah, there's nothing the pug can really do. They can't leave one hero just there to defend the racks, and even if they do, the familiars can still do little by little just chip damage and get the racks down. This is one amazing game. Now we see Moonlight Shadow coming out, and do they find someone? Oh my God, the Lish, the Lish. He saw it. He has a gem. He saw yeah. them being here. Oh my God. So Very nice. If Ember Spirit would have died. Yep. I I think he has buyback. He does have buyback, but still he doesn't want to waste it just on a stupid death. And the DK is coming in. They want to sneak someone here. Oh God, the familiars are back. And familiars now going in. And oh oh God, just look at the rack. The racks will go down now. Or will they? Oh no, barely alive still. But once the stun comes out, once they race back up, the Rex will definitely fall. I don't think they can kill them fast enough, or can they actually? Yep. Oh. There goes the melee rate. Hey, this, is, this is just... I don't know. What? <laughs> oh, I wanted puck. to say good play, but actually this is such a ratty dodo to play. Now, the puck is being down two sets of racks, but they're doing quite well still. Like, actually they're doing better at the moment than Euphoria, but Euphoria got them in a position. They can just rat this down, it's amazing. They got two lanes now pushing in. The fight's going the way of the puck, but the racks are going the way. Oh, we have a fiend script. Oh, fiend beyond the Ember Spirit. Will they use the reverse part? You know, the arrow flies out and easy kill. This is the an unstoppable, unstoppable going towards Magnus, and I think the steal the deal. No, actually no, the Ember Spirit has buyback now. So if they want to push, which they're probably gonna do now, there is a buyback coming from the Ember. But we saw last fight or the last two fights how the Ember Spirit like always used the buyback as a tool in fights and coming back on one of his remnants. This time there's nothing for him. Yeah, Life Steer just wanted to finish up his AC fast, got gold for the plate mail, killing the ancients, and now yeah. they really want to fight. Link and Sphere up on Mirana as well, so no Dragon Knight stun, no glimpse, no nothing coming out of him, on him, or even the tomb. And there's a huge creep wave coming on, in. this is four range creeps and two siege engines. Actually, Link and Sphere is on, popped on the Life Stealer. Oh god. But look at the familiars, how fast they get killed by one crit of that fist. This is two familiars going down before they could even do anything. But still, the tower is down on like 250 HP. The other lanes are pushing in already. The thing is though, now if Euphoria saw, okay, Elder the Dragon form popped by the Dragon Knight. Let's just back off for the time being and once it runs out, we can come yep. again, get the last Rex and GG it. Yep, definitely. Like, this is, you know, Predators. Like yeah. in Africa, when they when they hurt their victim and then they just roar around, it's bleeding, it's getting slower, trying to breathe, and they just wait for that moment when it's at its weakest point and then they go for it. This is exactly oh, what we're right now. now. Yeah. The Lincoln Sphere, no stun coming out, and no Dragon Knight still wants to chase. I mean, Euphoria is so spread out. There is the glimpse. Can they get him? The Static Storm with the change. Actually, Mirana will go down. No buyback for her. Oh yeah. Eat the puck, find an opening, but they look, really have to look, go for Bane the GG. Bane already is pushing in, top lane is pushing in, so even if they go 5 man, they still have a tier 2 tower to chew through. Oh, Ember Spirit comes back to defend, he can go to his fire remnant afterwards. 
So, I mean, really, this is the Puck's only chance, I feel like. And, oh, the Bane wanted to finish creep him together with the Lifestealer. This is so it. So, it will be a base race. There's no TP on Ember Spirit. He can't go back to the oh base. They not. They can't win this. The Puck can't win this. They're already yeah, on the front. No tier 4 towers. And now they're going back. They, they forced them back with TPs. This is this is what you get when you lost two Raxes. Yeah, the tier 4 <laughs> towers were down Sweet. as well already. <laughs> I think this is GG. No tier four towers, two sets of racks, and now what we saw, what we saw on the racks is with the familiars and everything. This can come now on the throne, and we see engagement though. Engagement here. Oh yeah, can they find the bane though? Bane is PKB. Doesn't try to TP. Actually, tries to TP, but chain frost mini stun is there, and now bane dead as well. Can't buy back either. Oh, it doesn't matter. As I get this is red Dota, the finest. Wherever they are, they're gonna lose something. For everything they do, they're gonna lose something. Yeah, Tiger tried to slide off his steering chain, just not quite in range for that. I'm actually, I'm actually wondering that the Visage is not using the Familiars right now. I mean, so far we saw like 20 minutes of Red Dodo by Familiars, and now I think the, the Rex are the exposed. Puck. The Throne is exposed. The puck is just uh, so deep in their base that there are so many, too many sources for the familiars to actually handle. Like you said, the one sleight of fist almost kills every single familiar, yeah. so they can't cope for it anymore. And I mean, we have to give it to the puck. They got quite a lot of gold from that familiars here. Like I think, in total, this game we saw about 10 or 12 familiar kills each time going to either DK or Amber that definitely helped with the farming being behind in farm. Yeah, and now actually buybacks are on more and more heroes. Three core heroes from Euphoria have buyback the Mirana, the Magnus as well as the Lifestealer. If they have... no, well they don't have enough gold actually to buy back and get BOTs. So not that consequential for the time being. I think the most important thing we see right now is that uh, the puck still has the cliff. The cliff is gonna make or break this game because oh my god, they go for the ember, but ember stepping away, just too fast in reaction. But yeah, they have the cliff so they can buy buy some time. But still, if that cliff runs out theoretically right now, just on paper, Euphoria can run in, bait the cliff, and get those Raxes down, and then just all buy back. This is on paper, of course, but if they want to go for such a move, then yeah, they have it now. Yeah, they can go, especially as Visage has picked up uh, Skyfa Vice, so just disable somebody and kill them off straight away. And Doom actually might be in some trouble, get shipped up, can they kill him before? Grave Chains will slow him down, life they're just right clicking away. A Beastal Blade and the Doom can't get off his ultimate, oh never mind, does get it, Magnus. No reverse polarity for him. Clips up onto the life stealer. Dragon Knight doing a ton of damage with his elder dragon form there. They should get Vicious No four staff. Very nicely done. Going towards the top in fest by the life stealer and Ember Spirit. 70 HP somehow survived. They're going on the bane now. Arrow hits on the disruptor. Life stealer is back in the fight. Doom comes as well. Together with the Shiva's card. Disruptor going down. Two man reverse polarity and the Dragon Knight will go down. Should have buy back, I think. Not sure, but Lich goes down. Buybacks by the disruptor. Slight of fist doing loads of damage, but Doom finally falling as well. Tiger coming in. Ultra kill for Euphoria's visage of all heroes. Magnus on the run now. As Ember Spirit giving chase. Life stealer buys back, and the Magnus will go down to the Ember Spirit. So Ultra kill for Ember Spirit. Both teams just going on a rampage. And the visa like the visage familiars are coming in. Yeah, I think they will get the range per axe actually, maybe. But as long as one rack stand, there's still a chance for the puck. This is crazy though. Like while they're all been fighting, like the creeps are pushing in, cleaning out the, like the small buildings and everything. And yeah, now now illusions are coming in, hitting the range racks. And they also they do quite some damage, and they have the aura. They bring the assault Karas aura with them. So. They almost got the range. Oh, the familiars, the familiars do get it. This is Red Dota 101. Why didn't they pick Ethereum? Why the Visage? puck is just too far behind, like, uh, objective wise. <laughs> they can take the fights, but the objectives are so far in Euphoria's favor that the puck is just losing out in the end with every single exchange. Yeah. And they still have the cliff. They, they, they didn't use the cliff. They won this fight even against the buybacks of. 
euphoria, but yeah, they're just losing buildings. They're just losing buildings. That's the problem. There's one rags left. Dragon Knight needs like a Mjolnir or something to push the lanes out. And this is, guys, this is like the first time I'm not like, usually I'm one of those boring guys, I'm like, oh damn it, like one one lane down, two lanes down, oh I can lean back, this game is over, but like, the Puck is winning those fights, the Puck is doing so well right now, even against a buyback, like dominant situation. I know it. what the Puck are doing to win this game. Divine Rapier up on the Ember Spirit, Slight of Fist, everybody dead. Oh Easy. My oh my god. No, but this he is, does have gold for it. He's coming in, BOTs towards the mid lane. Will he go buy the item though? He has enough money for it. They go I really for want all to out. see one. This is an all out mid. They have it, to. It has to be really. Just get the Roche first. If they get the Divine Rapier as well as the Aegis up on the Ember Spirit, he can be safe enough to go the for the familiars. item. That's why he's not buying it straight away. Look at the familiars though. They're already waiting. They're waiting for just one lane. Mirana's Illusions is, is pushing out. Uh, oh, Divine Rapier picked up together yeah. with the Aegis of the Immortal Cheese on the Dragon Knight. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm afraid the familiars, that the, the familiars just are ratting, but, but this Rax is back to protected, so they can't actually get it. There needs to be a lane being pushed in, and this is actually happening on bottom. The lane yeah. is pushing in, the familiars could do damage. Uh, one they're hit. getting cleaned up. Ember yeah. Spirit is critting for 1.3k now. With the fist? Oh no, just this was a normal hit, right? right? Because that would have been so sick. 1.1.3k with the fist. That's like, yeah. If that happens on a fist attack, just crazy. So the question is now: the puck can they push out the lanes and actually go for a push? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. That if the puck may, tries to go like all in mid lane, just uh, then Euphoria, of course, coming in. Okay, it's it's absolutely time. Where's the the familiar is camping there, everybody's getting BOTs, they go in mid, and then Euphoria is just TPing top and killing the throne. This is what I see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just so like it. It really hurts to see this game. I mean, the puck, they have held on so nicely, but in the end, I don't think that... Just I mean, they have, they, they have a chance. Send, just send illusions, like... If they wanted to, they could even go for five Necronicons, uh, Necromonicons, the familiars, and the Manta Illusions just send it in once Elaine reached it and... Oh my god, I think the Mirana is getting caught out here. Oh no. Gets 600 on the fist. This is 600 on the fist. This is crazy. With the yeah, Battle Fury, so this, is, this crit is gonna be shared in a fight. Oh god, this Ember Spirit is definitely gonna do huge amounts of damage and actually doing damage to the Familiars. Familiars almost dead already. Two of them do die before they even manage to get the stone form off. Like, do we have stats for familiars being killed in the game? Because I think we just hit the record here in this. Yeah, it might be true, I mean. With all the ratiness going on, so many familiars getting summoned. We're looking at a 63 minute game and... Oh, gem on the ground! <laughs> Ember Spirit just running, oh, gem! A yeah, casual gem in the forest. They grow on trees now. Oh, wait, another gem! There's an axe inside the creep. Look at this. Oh. With the Abyssal Blade, but no, never mind. Ember Spirit, of course, does have the Aegis, so should be safe. Although, if there's like a Fiend Script straight away, maybe an Abyssal Blade immediately after the Aegis, they could get two kills on him as well. And Mirana Ultimate is out, but they don't find anyone. They just. The puck just wants to wait. Oh, they find the Mirana, though. Mirana leaps away, gets doomed up, gets slowed down as well by the Shiva's card, barely. Four staffed away by the Magnus and the Candy Catch actually two RP on two as well. But Mirana will go down nevertheless. If they get the Magnus as well, Magnus doesn't have a buyback. Mirana does. But look no, at the Magnus. Mid. Familiar is pushing in, top lane is pushing in. They just oh, familiars want are racks. coming, but so is Ember Spirit. The familiar is already on the run. And One familiar is familiar dying down. to the crits. One crit with that fist and the familiars are dead. Gladly that gladly that didn't actually he didn't use his battle fury there, like they weren't close enough, but these familiars are gonna die again and I think they're gonna be out for yeah, 105 seconds. Look at this. One familiar is left. 
Now Daedalus is finished up on the Dragon Knight, so he can start critting. Actually, finds Magnus. And look at the damage. There is the four staff on Magnus. One more right click is only necessary. And wow. yes, it flies. Follows the Magnus. Very nice. This is done. the window they were looking for. This is the damn window they were looking for. Now they have to push. But Nax is finding. Mid the lane, yeah, finds a Bissel Blade onto the Doom, but Doom just too tanky. Rage up and runs away. Oh god. Can it really be? This is, Magnus does not this have is the buyback. Crazy. Mirana doesn't even have to actually waste the buyback, so he can definitely die once, buy back in the base and still defend. Yep. Life Stealer also has the buyback. What's so more crucial is 60 seconds Magnus out with no buyback, so this one is gone. So Puck has the opportunity now. Take it or leave it. That's pretty much it. And yeah. the Emma Spirit being alone on one lane and the rest of four pushing mid. And now this is like the game deciding phase. It either happens now or never. Yeah, I think so. I mean, sure they could rat on. And look how fast that tower dies. Like he doesn't care. The clip is still up. They don't use it right now. I think they're gonna wait for the for the the racks. I think they have to make use of the ages. I mean, this now is Doom. their best Doom opportunity is by far. Link. Thirty more seconds. Doom does come in. Pops the link and sphere at least. So the next time he jumps in, he can use something. There is the open wounds, but go set there is there. So they actually might get the racks now. Soul Assumption doing some harassment to the Lich, but 15 seconds, they have to find kills or racks in that time. The AGC is reclaimed is in one out. minute as well. Oh, Arrow barely missing on three heroes there. And the Magnus is back in four seconds. Now this is... Yeah, they are break. too afraid of the buybacks. I mean, Mirana buyback, as well as the Lifestealer buyback. Killing off those two heroes two times in a row might be too hard with their ultimates but then again it's and definitely doable with the cheese the and the dragon knight is already pushing into the base so there's i don't see pts up on them but they the have to has them. yeah but he left the remnant here so if a fight breaks out he's actually back in time yeah that's Look how such fast a nice he clears that wave one fist kaboom yeah very nice i mean one of the fastest clear clearing heroes i think with a battle fury and a divine rapier oh they're going in for the fight now too Solo Static Storm actually missing on everybody, but Mirana already did. As the Doom is up on the Magnus, Magnus down as well. He doesn't have the buyback, and the Aegis will get reclaimed soon. Now, Flystar tries to keep you away. Now, the chain for us to stun him. Ember Spirit might go down. The Aegis gets reclaimed. Oh, Ember Spirit forced staffed out by his teammates to safety. If he had fallen, then he actually would have dropped down the Divine Rapier as well. But buybacks now used by both the Mirana and the Life Stealer. So if they can kill them again, then it will be GG. The familiars are going towards the racks, but it doesn't matter anymore. I think the familiars would be actually better in the fights, just stunning them out. Look at the tier 4. This One is, down. This is absolutely crazy. Elder Dragon for me is on for another 15 seconds Base or so. Race. And yeah, they used they're going in. Doom One going front. in, trying to stop it. Cliff was there by the dire side and yeah. Oh god. They're going to kill the Bane. The Fiend script was there with the PKB and I don't know. But the, Bane, the Bane bought the time actually. Yeah, Jesus it is. Christ. GG. I can't <laughs> what believe game. what an end. Guys, we just had 67 minutes of damn fun. The puck <laughs> actually lost this game, but so close. The enemy throwing was on 3k at the same time. An awesome base race. We saw some nice rat dota by Euphoria. Anyway. You want to say something, culture, to this amazing game? Yeah, Bane. Just Bane. won them the game. <laughs> Bane to the rescue. KB Fiend Script and just holding the Ember Spirit still. Otherwise, I think they would have killed the throne faster than Euphoria did. But in the end, Bane just making things happen. This is it. Like... Anyway, guys, we're the guys from Hafla TV. I'm Hafla Moog. My co cast is Coucher. We're casting here the D2 Romania Spring Cup and the first game. Probably already my favorite game. Uh, it, it can't be better. I mean, this is already sick. Just, just imagine the finals. This is just amazing, guys. And this is not even the last game. We're soon back with the next one.